Have you ever wondered why your voice matters in governance? Let's dive into that. Governance, at its core, is about how decisions are made and implemented in a society. It's not just about politicians or governments, it's about us, the people. The democratic principle of public participation is a cornerstone of this system, emphasizing the role of active citizens in shaping policies and the decision-making process. Imagine for a moment the civil rights movement of the mid-20th century. This was a time when everyday people, just like you and I, stood up, raised their voices, and demanded change. They marched, they protested, they made their presence felt. And what was the result? Significant legislative changes that transformed the landscape of civil rights in America. This historic event shows that when people participate, they can change the course of their nation. But what happens when people choose not to participate? You see, apathy can have serious repercussions. When citizens disengage from the process, policies may not reflect the public's best interest. Take a moment to consider the Flint water crisis. This was a situation where a lack of public participation led to disastrous outcomes. The city switched its water source in a cost-saving measure but the new supply was contaminated. Despite the water's strange color and taste, officials insisted it was safe. Without adequate public participation, the truth came out too late. Families had been consuming and bathing in lead-contaminated water for months. The health impacts were severe, especially for children. This is just one example of the power of public apathy. When we choose not to participate, we give away our power to influence the decisions that affect us the most. The Flint water crisis is a stark reminder that when people disengage, the results can be devastating. So, how can you make your voice heard? Well, participation in governance isn't a one-size-fits-all process. It's a buffet of choices, with each of us free to select the options that best suit our interests and abilities. Perhaps you're a voter, casting your ballot to influence the direction of your community, state, or nation. Or maybe you prefer attending public meetings, where you can listen, learn, and lend your perspective on issues that matter to you. Don't underestimate the power of the written word. Writing to your representatives can sway opinions and shape policy. And if you're feeling especially ambitious, why not run for office yourself? Take Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, for instance. She transitioned from being a waitress to a congresswoman, proving that anyone with passion and dedication can make a significant impact. Remember, every voice counts, and every action makes a difference. So, what will your path to participation be? Now that you know the power of participation, what will you do? The question hangs in the air, echoing around the room. But it's not a rhetorical question. It's a challenge, a provocation, a call to arms. It's time for you to step up, to take an active role in the governance of your community, your city, your nation. Because it's not just about casting a vote every few years, it's about speaking up, making your voice heard, and influencing the decisions that shape our world. Remember, your participation can do more than you imagine. It can shape policies, steer the direction of debates, and create real, tangible impact in your community. You have the ability to influence the trajectory of your society to mold it into something better, something fairer, something more just. So, don't sit on the sidelines, don't watch the world change without you. Your voice has power, use it, participate in governance, be the change you want to see.